Hi, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and I'm continuing on with the 2019 AP Physics 2 Free Response Solutions. Um, like I stated before, if um, I make any mistakes in here, I'll put the corrections in the description below, as well as a link to PDFs having the solutions as well. The two circuits shown above contain an ideal variable power supply, an ohmic resistor resistance R, and an ammeter and two voltmeters VPS and VR. Okay? In circuit one, the ammeter has a negligible resistance, and in circuit two, the ammeter has significant ohmic resistance R. The potential difference of the power supplies is varied, and the measurements of current potential and potential difference are recorded. An axis below used the paragraph uh, measured by the ammeter as a graph the current as a function by the ammeter as a function of potential difference on the power supply. On the axis, do the following: sketch a possible graph of circuit one, label it one. Possible graph of circuit two. Okay, so basically we need a we need a relationship between the the current here and the voltage we see here. And uh, hopefully it, it's it's kind of clear that um, actually sorry not this voltage but this voltage here. So this voltage across the resistor is just V equals I R, right? So if I did it as current was the Y value, it would be I is equal to V over R. Or one over R times V, okay. So I is the Y, the end. So if you or I is the Y axis and V is the X axis, I is equal to one over R. So my slope will be one over R. So I'll have a line that has some kind of slope, uh, where the slope's in, inversely proportional to the resistance. Uh, how do I do a line here like this? I'll make it like that, and I will move it so it it, it should go through the origin technically. So. Try to move it so it goes through the origin. Okay, that's not great. Imagine it went through the origin. Um, okay, and then the next one is actually, let's see. Uh, well, I have I have extra resistance here. So this vo voltage, power supply voltage difference. So the current going through this one is going to be V is equal to I times R plus little r. Or I is equal to V over R plus little r. Now this one, this denominator is uh, bigger, so the currents in general will be smaller. So with a bigger resistance, the 1 over R plus R is going to be larger. Um, sorry, R plus R is going to be larger, so 1 over R plus R is going to be smaller, which is the slope, and so the slope will be a little flatter like this. Okay, so this is 1 and this is 2. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Basically, with in circuit 2, at the same voltage, Right, the current's going to be less through this one because this one has ultimately more resistance than this one. So let the delta VPS be the potential difference measured by the voltmeter VPS across the power supply, and let I be the current measured by the ammeter A. For each circuit, writing equation satisfies conservation of energy in terms of delta VPS R is appropriate. Okay, conservation of energy. The equivalent rule that we use in circuits is uh, KVL. Um, Kirchhoff voltage, and so what you're going to do is you're just going to create an equation that does that goes through the loop and just adds everything up. So we go up a voltage V, delta VPS. Then here I drop an IR minus IR would equal zero, and then here is the same thing. I have delta VPS, the power supply voltage. Then I'm going to drop across IR, little r, and then I'm going to drop across big R. Okay, so you can leave them like this. This satisfies uh, power, uh, conservation of energy. Um, you can simplify this a little bit, but otherwise that's fine. I, I think I simplify it in actual solutions, on uh, the PDF solutions. Okay, write and explain in your equations how your equations in part B account for any differences between graphs one and graph two in part A. Um, well, you can. there's a few ways you can describe this. I'm gonna put the explanation probably up here. Um, you can simply say that, well, um, delta VPS here has to equal IR, and delta VPS here has to equal I times R plus R. And whatever explanation you want to say is just equivalent that the voltage drop has to be equal on both sides in order for the energy to be conserved. And because this has a smaller R, um, it will have a larger, it, because the R is smaller in this scenario versus this scenario, 
uh, this I will be smaller than this one. I will be, you know, this is I1 and this is I2, for example. I1 is going to be less than I2 because in order for them to both have the same voltage drop um, across the power supply, um, they would have to have the same voltage drop here across the total resistance to conserve energy. And so um, with smaller R means I1 would have to be bigger than I2. Something along those lines is there's a lot of there's a lot of different ways you can explain that, but as long as you're just consistent with your equations and voltage drop and IR and the fact that one has more resistance than the other, um, should be should be good. So in circuit two, R equals 40 ohms. When the voltmeter VPS reads three volts, uh, voltmeter VR reads 2.5 volts. Calculate the internal resistance R of the ammeter. So let me draw a picture here of what we're having. We have a voltage source. And this has um, three volts. Oh, there's a little resistor. Sorry, little R resistor. There's a big resistor here of 40 ohms. And we're seeing that the voltage across here is equal to uh, three volts. No, 2.5 volts, 2.5 volts. Okay. So I know that the current here ought to be the current here right um, because th th it's the same current that flows here so the current through this guy here is just two uh, his I is equal to V over R and that's equal to uh, 2.5 volts divided by 40 ohms um, that's 0 0.0625 amps okay now I know that the voltage drop here ought to be the same right or uh, sorry the current here ought to be the same so if I know the current here is 0 0.0625 amps, then I know the voltage drop across this resistor, right? Because, um, well, I, I also know the voltage drop has to be 0.5, because if this is 2.5, this voltage drop has to be 0.5, because the total drop has to be 3. So um, you would say simply say um, uh, V is equal to IR, little r, in this case. Little r is equal to um, V over I. The voltage across, drop across this resistor is 0.5 volts, and the current through this is 0 0.0625 amps. So, so you get little r is 8 ohms. Okay, um, that, so that was D. E, voltmeter VR in circuit 2 is replaced by a resistor with resistance 120 ohms to create um, circuit three, uh, let's see. Okay, so we put a resistor here to create a circuit three shown below. Voltmeter VPS still reads three volts. So again, we have three volts across here. Calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit. Oh, for, first of all, the equivalent resistance, we said this is eight ohms, by the way, because all we did was replace it, and we've already calculated this is eight ohms. These two resistances are in parallel. So the parallel equation, you can do 1 over 40 plus 1 over 120 is equal to 1 over R to make these two collapse into a single resistor. So uh, 1 divided by 40 plus 1 divided by 120 is going to be, um, uh, well, this is like 3 over, it'd be like 4 over 120 is equal to 1 over R because this is 3 over 120. And so R would equal 30, 120 over 4, which is 30. So this would be 30, and then these two in 30, are um, equivalent to 30, is in series with the 8. So the, I do 30 plus 8, so I get 38 ohms here. Okay, and calculate the current each of the resistors that are parallel. The simplest way to do this is to say, like, well, how much current is flowing totally through the circuit? Um, the I is equal to V over R, and it's 3 volts divided by the total resistance. And that's 0 0.0789 amps, right? So that's the total current that's flowing through here. Now, the problem is, is that current doesn't flow between each of these, right? Um, you could either do it as the collapse resistance. So there's, there's two ways to do this. The simplest way is to say, like, well, these two resistors, remember I got rid of this and replaced this one with... Um, with the 30 ohm. 
So I can now calculate what the voltage drop is across this 30 ohm resistor, the equivalent resistance, what the voltage drop here is. That voltage drop would equal IR, which is equal to 0 0.0789 amps times 30 ohms. And so that voltage would be 30 times that. I would get 2.368 volts. Okay, and then to find the current through each of these, I simply have to, well, so the 30 ohm is like collapsing the two resistors. So this is the, this is the voltage and like this total current flows through both those resistors together. But they're asking for the current through each resistor. But now that I know the voltage across the resistors, I can just simply say, well, I is equal to so the I40 is equal to the two point is equal to V over R. And that's equal to 2.368 volts divided by 30, uh, 40 ohm. That's 0 0.0592 amps. And then the I120 is the same thing, same voltage, because right, because they're parallel. Uh, point zero point zero one nine seven amps. Okay. I might have had slightly different rounding numbers uh, on the PDF solutions, but that's generally the, I think those are, those are matching the right process. So let me know how you did in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.